Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to this special video where I'm going to show you one leg workout with elastic bands, okay? One of my leg workouts so you can add some exercises to your routine or you can do exactly this training if you want. In this case, I'm gonna go to a park, okay? I'm gonna train outdoor because here now we are allowed, okay? But actually the same exercises you can do at home because instead of the bench at the park or one tree, you can use one table, your door or anywhere at home, okay? So if you like this kind of videos, please uh, give me some feedback, leave in the comments, like the video, share, subscribe, wherever. Let's go. Hey, here we go. I think this is a nice spot. We have one tree, we have one bench with different heights. So it's perfect to put the elastic band around, okay? Like a supporting point and to do like lunges and any other exercises and put the elastic band around, okay? And the tree, well, in other cases will be really useful too. Okay, guys, I always start my workouts with a little uh, mobility, to warm up to sometimes more general mobility or sometimes more specific for the areas for the muscles and joints we are training okay in this case it's more orientated for legs okay like ankle mobility knee hip mobility okay guys so let's do today will be a little shorter you can i recommend you at least 20 minutes warming up mobility and otherwise if you want to focus more on mobility at least 20 30 minutes okay and you'll be so ready and so good to start your leg workout let's go Well, as you already saw, I focus a little more in general mobility first, like spine, rotations, and later I go more uh, for, in my case, for hip, like adductors and internal uh, hip rotations, external, uh, in ankle mobility, because it's like my, my worst of weak uh, mobility, and to get ready for the leg workout, because the mobility it has to be personalized too personalized according to you and according to your workout. As you saw, I work in isometric squat too, because um, the point is to work in the range of movement, you have more restrict, okay? It's uh, worse for you, it's more difficult. And as you saw with um, isometric um, squat mobility, we are working with a, uh, with a little general um, squat and leg mobility and later more specific uh, in the ankle mobility 
First thing guys is if I can I always train barefoot because uh, your feet, toes and deep muscles are working a little more okay and your your toes and feet are more freedom and is working more as I said in this case here is my material I have a few elastic bands according to the exercise or the level I want to train but you don't need all of them okay um, I normally start training uh, to activate my glutes with a monster walk okay in this case if you train barefoot and with your feet like this and the elastic bands here okay I show you and um, will be more your works your glutes will be more active okay like this facing out no facing in Once we warm up and we activate your glutes and all the specific parts, let's go to start the workout. In this case, you know, I prefer to train uh, per movements or like upper body, lower body instead of per muscle, because when you are doing one movement, it's not only one muscle, the one which is working. It's like several muscles working together, right? So in this case, if we train lower body, I will choose like two three exercise which the muscles are pushing and two three exercise uh, the muscle the muscles sorry are pulling or the same with abduction or adduction okay so we train all the movements and all the muscles will be training let's go guys I always like to pull the towel around so the elastic band has less friction when we pull around this make sure and in this case my little strong warriors now we can use the same spot to do some abductions like pushing out and abductions like pushing in okay so in this one we don't need like the whole thing around this here push and control slowly push and control slowly I show you now the adductions is the opposite movement here okay and push in and control push in and control remember to swap legs okay you can do this one in a superset with adduction for one leg and abduction from the other leg, okay?
Okay, guys, now in my case, I, I changed the elastic band a little thicker, well, a little no, much thicker and stronger, and we change the supporting point to do a deadlift from forward. Okay, the tension will be from forward. So, as farther as you go, it will be more difficult. let's go for the last one we have in this case leg curl okay uh, in the lay down position put this one around remember you can put this uh, on the on your sofa on your table anywhere at home you find and well we have two options depending on my level or your level okay in this case we are trying to work a little more in a symmetric way because remember the elastic bands the most you pull or stretch they are creating more tension so in this case when we are in the maximum leg curl position the tension will be the maximum tension as possible so let's try to keep to hold that position one two seconds and focus in the isometric point and eccentric phase going back okay let's go also in this one the position is a little tricky let's put this and put the the feel like this and the same one two If that one is too strong, let's go for this one. That's it guys, training done for today, leg workout finished and as you saw we trained six exercises all the movements all the muscles in all the angles and it's a full leg workout okay so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy and it's useful for you see you in the next videos okay if you like subscribe share it will be much uh, useful for me and lots of feedback see you guys stay safe